All right, Cancer, here we go. This is uh, Energy's Update, Soulmate Energy's Update for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. The strongest soulmate connection in the soulmate universe right now. In this soulmate cycle, Cancer, Leo, over the hot spot. No doubt about it. Big hot spot. General reading may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. If you found Steve's Love Tarot, you, you're here for a reason. I am shit at tagging. So... Welcome. Uh, you might want to check my timeless set and your monthlies and the cure for cancer. Well, have fun. Anyway, uh, uh, it's a timeless reading, so whenever you find it, it's meant to find it. I, I got a problem here with my pre-shuffle, and we're going to have to see where the reading takes us. Okay? Because my bottom card fell on the floor, and I can't tell from the energy, so I'm going to guess what, the, what, what, what it means. It's the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, as you all know, wears a mask. The Queen of Wands is pre pretense. On the outside, happy, happy, happy. On the inside, passion or sad or the opposite or something that they're hiding. Your person's been wearing a mask a lot. They're putting out a lot of happy pictures of themselves and doing all sorts of things that make you think, well, maybe they're not interested. I don't know. You know, They're not reaching out. I don't know. I can't tell if this card's upright or reverse. The energy keeps flip-flopping so many times. It's flip-flopping fast almost by the second. It's back and forth. It fell out of the deck upright. It landed on the floor reversed. That's a sign. That tells me it's both, and I can feel it. I don't know. Someone wants to take off the mask, but they're afraid to is the best I can extrapolate. I'm getting fear off the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands pissing her fancy gown, male or female. Because they know if they take off the mask to you, you're going to learn some things that you didn't know. Maybe some things you suspected. And it's hard for this person, very clear in the energy, it's hard for this person to share secrets. Uh, to say, I'm sorry. Swallow their pride and ego. There's a lot of pride and ego with your person. It's very strong in the energy. Very strong. So I know it's like almost all of you, 99.999% of you are dealing with somebody who... Got to swallow their pride and put down their ego and come in, take off a mask and talk to you like an adult, a mature adult human being. Before the cut, they're thinking about it. I got the Six of Cups. They're feeling this connection. This connection, as you know, you're the most powerful soulmate connection out there. This, this, this connection's got so many past lives. I, I, can't, I can count past lives. I can't tell you stories about the old west or anything like that I'm not some charlatan but I can count past lives and I know <laughs> I can't count how many you got I said once I see them as ropes and the more strands the more past lives that's how I see it in my mind's eye that's how I visualize it. so when I feel a soulmate connection so your connection most people's connections is either a string, like those ones you tie your turkey legs together with, or, you know, like a, a regular rope like you tie your canoe up with is a pretty strong connection. Yours, yours is one of those ropes that they use to pull the anchors up on the big frigate boats. You know what I'm saying? It's a big, there's a lot of karma here, and that's why it's so strong. And I'm getting verified by the universe here. After my cut, I got the high priestess. This also tells me I'm going to tie it with that queen of wands. Again, keep it secrets. A lot of secrets with this person. Secrets, secrets, secrets. We'll see what's going on. Let's give the deck a fine. A foul. <laughs> Jumping out of the deck. The Eight of Cups reversed. How many times is that going to show up? I think I got my shuffle here. And it, it, Universe wants me to keep the High Priestess at the bottom. I started the shuffle. The High Priestess came around once and ended up back at the bottom. And the Eight of Cups reversed flew out of the deck. So the Universe wants me to keep the High Priestess at the bottom. This is our overall energy. This is our clarifying energy. All right. So... That's how I'm reading it. It's my reading. That's how it's going to go. It don't matter which direction I put these cards in, actually. Uh, what it's saying is somebody's keeping it to themselves that they want to come back, that they want to come back to you. There's a lot of fear. 
It's a lot of fear. Somebody afraid to open up. Somebody really afraid to open up. This Eight of Cups reversed only means one thing. Somebody who walked away from you is coming back. Somebody who walked away from something they love is coming back to it. They're doing an about face and coming right in. And we've seen this before. We've seen this card a lot in your readings. I've never seen it with the High Priestess and a Queen of Wands that kept flip-flopping. Reverse, upright, reverse, upright, reverse, upright. It's like a freaking song. You have some kind of secret love. A more and secret. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Underneath that, just for shits and giggles, it is the, because uh, I would normally pull this as the clarifying card to the High Priestess. I still can, but I believe these are the, these are the cards here. All right. And I'm going to leave these both out. Um, the Ace of Pentacles. This is old energy. This person's been doing this a long time, keeping this a secret, keeping their feelings bottled up. You can't do that shit. You can't keep feelings bottled up. It, it, it's going it, it's gonna to eat. It's eating them alive. So we got our shuffle. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. This is the hidden energy that the universe wants you to know. little message, a little post-it note from the universe, a little emoji. Right here's the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top, and you bet your sweet cancer asses there's going to be an extended. And there'll be a link in the description. And if I forget to put the link there, because sometimes I do, all you got to do is tweet hashtag dumbass, and I'll know what you mean. Mm-hmm. But if you tweet hashtag dumbass and I go check and I put the link there, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't give a shit. I am a dumbass sometimes. Right here, the energy around the connection. Let's pull it together. So we got a secret. They're coming back with some kind of secret. See, it's even a secret they keep from themselves. A lot of fear here. What's the overall energy, Cancer? Let's get going. Nine of Cups. Yeah. They're fixing to get it. They're coming back because they're fixing to get a wish fulfilled. The high priestess. They are using their intuition here, but I'm really just getting secrets off of this. It's some kind of secret. And it's probably, it's so far the universe don't want to talk about any third party, but we know from, from I know from other readings on other signs and, and the signs that are attached to you that, that, that they're, it, for some of you that you are in a third party. And that third party knows about you, and that third party is not interested in your, your person's got some kind of false loyalty, misplaced loyalty to something on their side. Could be a career, could be a family dynamic, expectations put upon them, it could be a marriage. It's in the energy, but the, it's not what's coming out in the cards. They're coming to get their wish fulfilled, they're coming back, and it's, you know, again, this high priestess really pissing me off. Right here, the... Uh, I'm pissed at the high priestess. And I love tigers. Right here, uh, the energy around uh, how your person feels. Yeah, wow. Uh, again, it's it's what I've been saying. It's the king of swords. And, and here's the happiness. This, this, I'm drawn to the rainbow sword. The rainbow from the ten of cups. Happily ever after. The, you know, you know, their wish fulfilled. They are turning around. But this, this king of swords here is linked energetically with this high priestess and it's it's this person right here who's just put up some kind of front that they're not as interested as they are i guess is the easiest way to put it it's 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 similar to the queen of of wands in a way but it's more they do want to talk to you but they don't it's like i want to talk to you cancer i love you but i don't want to tell you that i do it's like they don't want you to know the energy here is almost they don't want you to know that how much they love you and again, it probably ties to their emotional immaturity. It, 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 because that's emotionally immature. I mean, it's an obvious statement, but I don't know. Let's go. Let's keep going. How do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you, because that's all bullshit, which we have here verified. It's all fucky fucky. You know, what the fuck? All right. Yeah, it's strength. It's lying. I'm drawn instantly. When you pull a card... Your eyes should go not to look at the whole card. You should be drawn to something on the card. I'm drawn to that rose. And I'm drawn to that infinity symbol. It's shining bright for me. Right there on his forehead. 
You got karma here. I know it. I feel it. I told you already with the Six of Cups. But right here, I'm drawn to this rose. It's one of the roses from the Two of Cups in this deck. They, they want to bring you the rose, but they're afraid to. The, the, the strength card has a wall of fear behind it, around it. Like I always told you, it's like a fence. Because the strength card is someone trying to get the strength to pull up their big boy, big girl pants and do what's right. Which implies that they're afraid to do. And this king of swords, surrounded by fear, protecting himself with this sword. They're afraid. I love you, but I don't want to tell you. I don't want you to know. Fuck you. Right here, hidden energy. You already know anyway. You're coming here. Just call them on it. <laughs> I know you do. Right here, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Actually, they'll run for the hills, I think, if you do that. You, you, you're going to have to just play along with this person. I mean, on some level. I know, as painful as that is, I, I run into that a lot, too. Hidden energy. Red with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's your page. Mm -hmm. It's everything I just told you in one card. Emotional immaturity. I love you, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you how much. It's this. They want the wish. It's, it, these two cards together or someone who, with everything else on the table, is someone who wants their cake and eat it too. They, they want the wish fulfilled, but they don't want... It's, it's almost an, an energy of entitlement. Entitled people, the, the textbook definition in psychology, one of the definitions anyway, is somebody who wants the best, feels they deserve the best, but they aren't willing to work for it. That kind of thing. It's that kind of energy here. I'm not saying your person's entitled. I am saying they're fairly self-focused. Well, High Priestess and the King of Swords... It's a freaking egomaniac waiting to happen. A uh, closed off egomaniac, though. Not an egomaniac where people go, oh, that, that person, yeah, they're a real egomaniac. No, it's not like that. It's internal. It's all inside them. They are turning around, though. This Eight of Cups reversed is encouraging. It's almost humorous. Coming in, Universe says they're going to show up as a page with a little apology and tell you a little bit of how much they love you. But again, it's like I said, with this King of Swords read off this High Priestess, I love you, but I'm not going to tell you how much. It's that kind of thing. It's a, hey, hey. What's the final outcome read with this King of Swords? What's going to happen here? Let's pull it together. All right, see, there you go. And your own energy showing up in the reading. Cherry. Yeah. Uh, Again, I'm drawn to it very rarely. I often see the pinnacle and the sun in front of the moon, Chatty Cathy in front of Silent Bob, and the pinnacle of stability. But I'm drawn, in the moment I pull this card, I'm drawn to this little dark moon, this dark crescent moon on the forehead of the horse right there where I'm pointing. Yeah, they want the stability. Yeah, they want to talk, but they don't want to talk too much. There's a little bit of moon, this, this eclipse. It's just a, it's almost gone, but there's still a little sliver of it left. But they are coming in. It says they will come in, and I believe that because of this Eight of Cups reverse. The universe chucked this sucker right out of the deck, and it was it stayed reversed the whole time. And it, and to come out of my deck during a shuffle reversed, it had to do a flip in the air. It's like gymnastics here, right? We got the Belarus gymnastics team right here. Go. Whoosh. Flip. It's crazy. I'll tell you what. Nine of, nine of Cups. Why is it here? Let's clarify, Cancer. Let's go a layer deeper. Let's do this. Nine of Cups. Why is it here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Let's see. So they want to come get their wish, do they? The energy's right for it. It's the energy of the connection. It's there. Wishes can be fulfilled right now. All they got to do is get off their ass. Get on the chariot and come on in. I don't think they're going to speak up to your satisfaction. Maybe they are. I don't know. You're all different. Maybe you're just hoping, hell, I'll take anything from them. Well, if that's it, that's what you're going to get. Nine of Pentacles. They're scared to death. They're intimidated. It, also, this tells me if they're in a third party, they're working on their independence. They've either renegotiated something with the person about them being able to do and be more free. I get that energy. Or they dump the person altogether, but also I get they're very intimidated by you. Uh, I've got a, I got a downshift here. 
I've got, ooh, this is my wish. Oh, they're so awesome. Second gear. Right here. Get your cup. They are intimidated by you. This this King of Swords is in, in their emotions is fake. It's it's false. I, I read this as just they're not a great horned owl at all. They're not. They're a false great horned owl. They're a little screech owl, which looks like a great horned owl. It's got the horns and everything. But he's a little guy. He's like the size of a kestrel. He's like eight inches, eight, ten inches. You know, this is a twenty-four inch bird. He's like eight, ten inches. He looked like a little mini. It's like Tattoo and Mr. Rourke from Fantasy Island, right? They're pretending they're Mr. Rourke. They're Tattoo. That's who they, hey boss, hey boss. It's, that's it. It's fake. It's fake. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? It's so fucking fake. Get Derek, look who came back. Little Miss Flippy Floppy. Queen of Wands, flipping around. Ah, they're afraid to take off this mask. Look at the color match here. Again, you don't have to be an energy reader, freak like me, pull it from the universe. Everybody reads energy on two levels, and we're going to do a mailbag on that. People have been asking about it. I'm going to teach you a little something. Even if you're not an energy reader, you will be when, you, when I'm done with you. But one of the levels you can read at is color. Assuming you're not colorblind, as I say, then you're fucked on that one. But not the other one, just, the, just that one. But anyway, we got a color match here with the background. I told you they're intimidated by you. That's why they put the mask on. That's why they're afraid to tell you. This is a little screech owl. It's no great horned owl. You phony baloney. You're just a little screech owl. That's what you are. Right here. It's still flip flopping. They're not sure. That they're again. It downshifts to a page. They're gonna come in in second gear, and you want them in fourth or fifth. Well, not, no one's going to come in in fifth gear, but you want them in at least fourth or third, some kind of cruising gear, not not a, a, a get up your speed gear or slow down gear. I'll tell you what, King of Swords, why is it here? Why is this little screech owl here, great horned owl, my ass? Why is this uh, card here, King of Swords? Tell me more about this King of Swords. It, all of this is causing delays. The, the Ace of Pentacles, they, they want to come in as this great horned owl. They know they need to show up as this, this real owl. I call it a real owl. Great horned owl. Hold that on your arm. Walk into a room with a great horned owl on your arm. Nobody going to laugh at you. You're going to be like, wow, that's cool. Walk into a room with a screech owl on your arm. <laughs> well, that's just funny. <laughs> it's, look at that little guy. <laughs> you know, It's cool, but it, you know. Come on. <laughs> Although when it let out a scream, that'd be pretty cool. It's it's that uh, owl that sounds like the witches in the forest at night. It's that owl that freaks you out, freaks everybody out. <laughs> they call it a screech owl for a reason. Uh, but anyway, it, it, they're just jamming up the works here in their own head, trying to wear this mask, and they've been slowing this thing down the whole time. Fear has been slowing this thing down the whole time. They got a big offer for you. Why is this uh, Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, and, but they can't. It's, it's just it's just what I said. They've been slow, and this is Two of Pentacles. Wishy washy. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Slowing things down. Yeah, no, I got this. I got this energy right. The cards are backing me up. I read the energy first, and I throw the cards. Because it don't make sense to do a reading any other way. Otherwise, you don't know if the reader's just making shit up. I'm not that creative. Look at my channel title, St Steve's Love Terror. I couldn't, I swear to God, I thought about it for an hour. I couldn't come up with anything more creative. Everybody else got all kinds of things. Weird words in there and all kinds of spiritual words. And I can't come up with any of that shit. I couldn't come up with these stories to save my fucking life. Right here, it's, it's clear. They're intimidated by you. They want their wish. They're coming in as a page because they're, they're afraid. Did they know you got your shit together? They know you don't need them. You'll be fine. And they're flip-flopping whether or not to take the mask off. This person has a hard time being real with people. They're very concerned about what other people think. I see it here. In the energy, I see it. And it causes indecision. It causes them to freeze up. Oh, oh but if I go toward cancer, what will so-and-so say? And what will so-and-so think? And what would the neighbors think? I don't know. They're the one driving a Pinto. Cancer's got a... A BMW, as we found out from the Twin Flame reading. 
Hell, if anything, cancer should be ashamed to be with you. I ain't gonna ride around in your 74 Pinto with you. I got, I got an image to uphold. While people don't recognize me, they do recognize the hand. The hand is very famous. I have to wear gloves when I go out. I do. I'm very careful. Strength. Why is the strength card, why is the strength card here? What's going on? They want to bring this rose. Want. A whole bunch of want. Back and forth. I got wishy-washy here. And this strength card is tied to all this shit over here. Again, they're trying to build up the strength to take the mask. I think they're just going to take the mask off a little bit. I believe they're coming with the chariot at the at the end. I mean, if that's what you're worried about, they're they're you're definitely going to talk to this person. For most of you, I would guess, the chariot's a major arcana card. Why well, is the strength here, which is also a major arcana card, which we have very few of on this top row, I might add. So it's all your person's wishy washiness and shit. It's all in their head. It's all 3D. The only way, the only place on this top row so far we got a major arcana card is the damn strength card. Well, which is surrounded by fear. Wishy-washy. Wishy-washy, two of pentacles, leading to the next card out, seven of cups. Should I or should not? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? There's also an energy here through all of this which is laughable. It is hilarious to me, actually. You might not think it's funny, but you should because it's fucking funny. There's an energy here in all of this where this person... In spite of all this wishy-washiness and all of this, not sure I should take the mask off, I'm intimidated by them, they're actually worried that someone else is going to snatch you up. That's fucking rich. Are you serious? I hope someone does. <laughs> Personally, off the record, I know I'm your reader. I know you want to hear from this person. But I'd have been late for the door. This person wouldn't even enter my life. The person like this. I don't have friends around me like this. I don't have people like this. I don't. No queen of wands in my life. Nobody puts up pretense. I scare them away. I'm Steve. I can see through your damn mask. It's like clear shine glass to me. And I'll take the shit for a little while. I'll let you lie to me. And tell me all sorts of things. About your life that isn't true. About your car that you don't have, your house you don't have, and that you're happy when you're not. I'll, I'll let them get away with it for a little while, but after a while, I just snap. And one day, after a few too many Heinekens, I just lay into them and I, I, rip right, I rip that mask right off. And they're gone after that. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. This person... Why is the Seven of Cups here? Give me some fucking encouragement here. Oh, God. The Burger King again. The Emperor, male or female, this, uh, this person continually shows up as the Burger King. In this case here, the Burger King, who we call it that, by the way, if you do here, because the Whopper campaign, you can get it your way. They got to have it their way. The Burger King is silent. The moon in front of the sun. Trying to have things their way. They wanted you their way. They wanted this to play out with you their way. They wanted, I told you before, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. I told you many cards before this even came out. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. That's the mark of the uh, emperor, the Burger King. With the exception being the eat it too, which you wouldn't want to do to anything that you would get at Burger King. But aside from that, this person is trying to decide, again, this card just says, this person is trying to decide if they're okay with getting the Whopper the way they didn't order it. If they're okay with taking the mask off, it's bookending the Queen of Wands. The Emperor is bookending the Queen of Wands. It's in the same position, the second clarifier position at the end. And this Seven of Cups sits between it, and this wishy-washy Two of Pentacles sits between it. They're actually trying to decide, it's what I've been telling you. That's where this whole top row is. Should I or should not? Should I show up as a great horned owl, give them everything I got, or should I be a screech owl? A whiny little fuckwit. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here, but I know they're keeping a lot of how, how they truly feel about you secret. It's buried deep, deep down in. This whole reading's clarifying that. It's deep. It's deep down in. But the universe is emphatic by throwing this card out. They are returning. And I, I told you before, I think when this person shows up, you're going to have a problem. It's going to, you, I know you want to hear from them. Some of you are like, I don't care. I just want to hear from them because they told me this and they told me that. 
Yep. I, they did. There's there's regret ingrained in the energy. Somebody said or did something that was wrong. But uh, let's see where it's going here. Page of Cups. Where's it going here? There. This is a person who's very afraid to be real. I guess I could just phrase it that way. Very afraid to be real. Very afraid of emotions. And this is a powerful connection. I, on one level, I don't fault them for it because it's a powerful connection. All right. I've driven a lot of fast cars. I've had a lot of fast cars. I'll give you an analogy. And I was into the drag racing when I was a kid. I had a, I had a Chevelle, a 396. You know that that thing would do some that thing would do some quarter miles. A fast car, four on the floor. It was a nice car. But even with all that experience I have in doing that sort of thing and keeping myself in one piece and my car in one piece, if you put me in a dragster and say, okay, you're going to get to drive this dragster right now, I'd be a little nervous. I'd be a little nervous because that dragster ain't my 396 Chevelle. I promise you that. That dragster is a fucking dragster. It's going to go three, two, three, you know, it's going to go fast. I'll go with zero to 200. Ain't no zero to 60. So... You know, it. This, that's kind of this. This person is used to just regular cars and regular whatever. You know, maybe they've had some hot people in the past or that they had passion with or whatever, but this ain't that. This is a dragster. So on one level, I get it. But on another level, I don't get all this wasted time. This Ace of Pentacles sitting in the middle of it is wasted time. It's Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. You're wasting time. Somebody get Grandma on a driver's seat, switch seats, and hit the damn gas pedal. The car will go a lot faster than 15, Grandma. Oh, let me show you. It's unreal. All right, Page of Cups. Why is it here? Now, what's the universe want to tell you? Yeah, this is this is the, the this is the thing. The universe, is the the sun, and the six of of uh, swords, and underneath the deck is the nine of swords. The happiness of this. And the again the rainbow here from the Ten of Cups, the happily ever after rainbow, moving this thing on. This is good. The Six of Swords, the boat's heading toward the chariot. I believe this person will come in. I believe they'll get past this, pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. But what this bottom card is telling us is it's kind of yeah. Oh my god, and the card underneath it is the eight of wands. Communication. So this is just gonna back up everything I was just gonna tell you. The thought of reaching out to you stresses this person out. Look, the Nine of Wands clarified by the Eight of Wands. Or the Nine of Swords, I mean, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Nine Swords, stressed out about communication. They are stressed about the happiness that this brings them. So they downshift. Take the sucker down a second. I mean, Grandma's already going slow. Here you go. You got right there. They want to come in. They're going to come in. They know your calmer waters and all that stuff. But it, it's the sun on top of it. The sun on top of, I mean, yes, the sun is communication. It lights things up. But the sun on top of the page of cups here in the hidden energy, uh, there's happiness here, but they're, but they're downshifting it because they're worried about taking this mask off. That card really was flip-flopping, and it still is to some degree. It's going back and forth. Ideally, we'd want a Queen of Wands reversed. We I, then I could say, you know, and I then I could say, well, they're taking the mask off. They're finally coming in. It's been a long time. It changes this one card being reversed, changes this whole top row. Now this top row is they're impressed by you. They're coming to get their wish fulfilled. They're taking their mask off. It's been a spell. They're finally making a decision. They're not quite sure how to come in, but they are sure that they need to drop this uh, pretense about you know having things their way and they're getting the strength up and coming in to bring you that rose that's how this top row changes with this one card in reverse the problem i'm having is it's not reversed when it came out and the energy of it is flip-flopping so it's both this entire top row is both readings the reading i gave you and the reading i just gave you with it reversed it's both it's going back and forth it's like schrodinger's row right here the cat is both dead and alive until we open the box we don't know and we don't. And this is telling us the same thing. They're downshift into a page. This is where we open the box. The universe is clear. They're coming. 
but their feelings for you are a big secret maybe even to them on so i mean I, they they feel it but they try to you know with the queen of wands mask it out but this is the box opening right here the chariot now we got to see what two cards fall on top of this and keep your damn cancer fingers crossed well that's the chariot here so you see why reading cards for those of you that read cards has some responsibility you saw it just flipped one card one card reversed in this whole top row makes all the difference changes the whole reading that's why I, say, I don't like people where the card comes out reversed and they go I don't I don't read reversals uh, well I, I put my you can't do that oh you can't do that if the card comes out if you put all your cards in upright like I do and the card comes out reversed you have to read it the universe is making it clear I know you don't read reversals but fuck you you need to read this reversed you know it, it doesn't work that way that's not the mathematics of tarot right here the chariot and the good readers know that uh, you gotta read reversals even if you don't read reversals and I, I read reversals actually I just put the cards in upright I can tell whether the energy is reversed or not and I'll read the card accordingly someone asked me a long time ago to flip the card when I do that but I keep forgetting it's not a habit of mine and I don't like changing how I do things when you we train the universe how we pull cards you have to be consistent you have to do the same thing every time be consistent in what you do but don't defy the universe if it accidentally has one of your cards reversed and you don't quote unquote don't read reversals you can't read tarot that way you can't do it if the cards it's fine the universe is okay if you don't read reversals but if it sends you a reversal you damn well better read it because you just saw right there what I did what happened um, so I'm being honest with you that cards flipping it's both this just really wants me to shuffle for the chariot here. I am shuffling, I promise you. I'm not just yammering. All right, the chariot. This is uh, Schrodinger's re reading up here. Cat, dead or alive, dead or alive, dead or alive. Well, is the Queen of Wands reversed or upright? I don't know. Let's find out. Find out together. Temperance. It's a good sign. Temperance is the, tells me the timing is right now for this Ace of Pentacles to pull in the parking lot. Your person's still indecisive, though, but it's on top of the chariot. It's the card of the angel. They know you could change their life, and karma is balancing here a little bit. Still don't know whether this Queen of Wands is, is upright or reversed. Page of Pentacles. It's, it's upright. It, it's, it's, it, it's upright. It is. I mean, it, it, it's both. It's still flippy floppy. You could probably, the Page of Pentacles is, is communication. It's got the rainbow again. Look, rainbow, rainbow again from the Ten of Cups, the happily ever after. Okay? It's someone who's thinking about every word they're going to say. If the, Queen of Cups, if the Queen of Wands were reversed, they wouldn't be thinking about every word they're going to say. The mask is off that you just say it. If I loved you, I would just tell you. I'm not thinking about every word I'm going to say because I just want to tell you how I feel. And that just needs to flow. When someone's telling you how they feel, it's it's a flow of energy. This limits the flow when, when they wear a mask, thinking too much, thinking, thinking, thinking. Look, the Page of Pentacles, thinking about everything they're going to say, is tied in red with the Two of Pentacles. They're indecision. They're infinite wishy-washiness. So what I was starting to say is because temperance is here, you have a lot of sway with this person. They are very into you the nine of pentacles they think you're very awesome okay you have a lot of sway with this person you might be able to get them to open up and and, and pry this high priestess's vault open you might be able to i would just if my advice is it looks like and especially with the eight of cups reversed wanting to fly out of the deck this person the universe is trying to tell you this person's coming and it's trying to tell you through me how they're coming you might want to and you don't have to take my advice if you don't want to you do what you want but you might want to just let them do all the talking. And then you form a strategy of your own to retort, to come back with something. I don't know. I, that would be my plan. That would be what I would do. If this, I would pull in this reading. If I were in your situation and this were my reading, that's what I would do. I'd be like, okay, I see what's happening here. I'm just going to let them do all the talking. Tell me what you want to tell me in, in the page that you want to tell it to me in. Page mode. 
child. Tell me what you want to tell me. And then I will formulate a plan. I'll wait. Hopefully it's in something like a text or, or something like a, a, a DM or something where you, you got a little delay. If it's a face-to-face -face call, you're going to have to think while they're talking a little bit about what you're going to say. Try not to be too emotional with the person because this little fawn, if you approach it, will run. It will run. Don't believe those douche commercials where they walk up to the fawn in the forest and pet it. We got one of those on TV right now. That shit ain't happening. That's a tame fawn that they brought in for the damn commercial. All right? This ain't no douche commercial. This is your love life right here. Okay? Now, I'll tell you what. I would love to title that. I would love to title this video that. <laughs> I really would. But I'd catch hell from Mothers Against Steve's Love Tarot. M. Slut. I would catch hell. But right here, <laughs> I'll say it on video, though, because it's funny. But the truth is, this little fawn will run if you get too close to it. So, And getting close to it, metaphorically speaking, is you being overly emotional. You're a cancer. You're a cardinal water sign. We all know you can get mushy-mushy and lovey-dovey. We all know it. But I, would, I would let them do most of the talking. All right. Let's see what the universe wants to say. Anything else Cancer needs to know about this situation? For some asshole in a 500 horsepower car with a 100 horsepower brain hits another light pole and knocks the power out in my town again? God damn it. We got more trouble with those damn cars. I've been picking on them too. Somebody, I, I tell you what. I've been picking on those cars for a while, man. Just because too many people, they give them to teenagers and stuff. It's too much power. Not everybody's cut out to drive a 500 horsepower car. You got to have a 500 horsepower brain to drive one. Because the problem is, you might not be going fast, but they got torque that builds up. A lot of torque, and that torque is momentum. And that car took out. That car wrapped itself around. He must have been flying. My neighbor went up there to see it. It still wants me to shuffle, so I'm just stalling. My neighbor went up there to see it, came back and said, saw the funniest thing. The cop took the guy out of the car. It's beautiful. I love the police. They're so funny when they're good. The cop pulls the guy out of the car. He asks, are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Sir? He's, and as soon as the guy said, yeah, I'm fine, the cop laid into him like a 10 year old who just done something wrong i mean it was unreal he, it was like the cop went like good I'm, I'm glad you're okay now what the fuck was going on? it was awesome i heard it was great i wish they filmed it i would have put it up on my youtube channel and i'll tell you what that cop wouldn't have gotten in trouble he'd have been a damn hero uh, it's not one of those videos that people putting cops doing bad things that's a good thing i'm glad he did that we got Nothing but trouble. Okay, the universe wants you to know, Ace of Cups, there's big love here. There's more love than you know about it. Three of Wands, it's held back. Keep in mind when this person, the universe is clear, this person's coming in, okay, in the, in the, in the near future, all right? It's going to vary for each of you, you're all on different timelines. But keep in mind, the universe, first message from the universe to you is there's more love here than what this person's going to show you. Keep that in mind. They're holding back. All right? Lay, you lay back, too. Three of Wands. You lay back. Let them talk. This is the advice I just gave you. This Three of Wands right here. Trust needs to be established here. Three of Pentacles. Trust needs to be established. The first thing you got to do is get this person to open up more. There's no trust. If you're not telling me everything, how can I trust you? Four of Swords. Healing can come through, through trust. Okay, these are two card messages. And yeah, there's a three of swords underneath that four of swords. And that's where we're at right now. Everybody's disappointed. Everybody's sad. And there's tons of karma here. And this is a powerful card in this animal deck. There's not even a heart on it. The heart's been ripped to shreds by three, by three swords. And they got blood dripping off the end of them. I mean, this is some shit. This card scares people. This is a card you show children and they need therapy into their 30s. It's a scary looking card. The energy off it is scary in this deck. It's not for everybody. But it is for this. This is what's going on. Healing comes through trust and getting this person to open up and give that whole cup of love. If they don't, it's never going to happen.
Okay, but the universe is clear from the top of the deck. That communication. Look who's at the top now. Ace of, eight of Wands. Communication's coming, and it's going to come in fast. It's coming out of nowhere. And that card is clarified again. Wow. They shuffled together. The Nine of Swords. Again. The Nine of Swords. They're very worried about this communication. And I think the next card, the last card I'm going to pull here, tells me why. It's the Four of Cups. They're very worried about this red center, left, right. I'll read it as a three card. Center card, the baseline. They're worried. They're pacing the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. About what? About communication. About the fact that you guys need to talk. Why? Because, because they fucking blew you off. And they've been blowing you off. And they've been ignoring this connection. You're forcing them because they're going to have to look at everything they've been trying to look away from. That's why. Sneak away from. And that's freaking scary to this person. But they're going to do it because they're living in a three of swords. They can't, they're not going to be able to take this. This is too much. You know, everybody reaches that point. Everybody gets to a point where you just have nothing to lose. And I think this eight of wands comes in as these pages at the, at the I got nothing to lose point. I feel bad. I'm tired of feeling bad. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the mask. I'm tired of everything. They just need to reach a snapping point. And when they reach the snapping point, that's when they come in. That's when they get past this Nine of Swords bullshit. I want to start getting cancer readings where I see this Nine of Swords reversed. I see that. I know we're there. I know we're at the snapping point. We're close. Nine of Swords is no big deal. It's just stories we tell ourselves in our head. We're close. Now I'm going to extend this one. And I'm going to dig into their side. It's almost like a, a big giant quickie with Steve, except it won't be a quickie. I'm, I'm going to look at their side. I want to see what's going on on their side. Let's we'll see what the hold up here is. Why is this mask here? What the hell's going on? We might see some third parties in there. So if your person's married, you know, you might want to check it out. I don't know. It's up to you. If you want the extended, and I'm going to find out what action they're going to take towards you. And I'm going to find out some advice for you from the universe. I've already given you advice from me. We'll see what the universe has to say. All right. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. Knock yourself out. I uh, hope, hope this reading was helpful to you. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, plugs me, all that stuff. Send good karma your way. All right, Cancer. Good luck. If you want the extended, the link's in the description.